When we're trying to wrap our brains around preparing in the right way, many of us, I know you do, I know I do, meet with financial advisors. When you're going to have the question with a financial advisor about longevity and and about making sure that as much as possible, your bases are covered, what do you need to talk about sitting in that office? Hmm. That's such a great question. Um, First of all, people have to think in terms of how long their parents live, but our parents live with yesterday's medicine. We're going to be living with tomorrow's technological breakthroughs. Also a good idea to say, well, what if my spouse outlives me? So we know that women live about four to five years longer than men. And in the United States, if a woman is partnered with a man, he will be inclined to be two and a half years on average older than her, which means that the women will wind up caring for the man towards the end of his life. But then he passes away. She's depleted. They've spent down a lot of their money and she's going to live another 10 years. So a responsible couple will not only ask or be asked, how long might we live? But what if one of us lives much longer? How do we make sure that we've got plans in place or the right financial instruments so that in case we're blessed with extra longevity, it's not a punishment, it's it's a gift. We don't have to find ourselves being a burden on the family or, or be going to sleep every night terrified because we don't have the resources to pay the bills. <laughs> 